Ray Ray, uh, what did you do? What? What did you do? Nothing. Nothing? We've got 400 pounds of slug in our toilet. What did you do? All I did was mix some of those potions, some of that blue crud that smells like feet, and the orange jelly that vibrates. But look what I made! <laughs> oh, Ray Ray, I have a field trip today. I really don't have time to unclog our toilet full of monsters. What possessed you to throw it in the toilet? He throws everything in the toilet. That's true. Can we keep him? Oh, only if he doesn't eat us. Hey! This is my good bat! Ugh. Monroe, is there a counter spell for Worm Boy here? I can't tell if he's a transmogrification spell or an unleashed Tarabag demon. It makes quite a difference, you know. Whatever he is, he really smells bad! <laughs> Do it again! Shut up. Not exactly the textbook method of dispensing with beasties. There's room in this toilet for one more. You like surfing? You know, I'll pass. <laughs> a whole lot better before it was sold to the mall. Seriously, this is the worst field trip ever. It's not so bad. They have a full Picasso exhibit. Yeah, Jeff Picasso. He makes sculptures out of lint. Worst ever. Roger, hurry up! I'm coming! Look what I got at King Henry's Medieval Food Court. You guys want some? It's filled with cheese. You get a haircut? Why'd you get a haircut for a field trip? Well, I just felt that I should, you know, look my best for all of the learning. Who was it that said, if you look good, you learn good, <laughs> right? It's because you're paired up with Marcus Connor for your class project, right? That has nothing to do with it. Marcus rocks. Sharp dresser, and never gives wedgies. You gotta respect that. I'd much rather do my report with Marcus than Todd Feldman. Greetings, Padawan. It is I, Qui-Gon Todd. We have been instructed by the Jedi Council to investigate and report on the mysteries of the North American Elk. You call me Padawan again, freak show, and you'll be eating a lightsaber! Marcus likes you. Like, likes you, likes you? I can tell. I have a sense about these things. She does. It's totally creepy. Well, all of you just quit it. I have to do a report on the mummy exhibit with Marcus Connor, and that's all there is to it. It's just a report. I mean, there is no question that Marcus is a ninth-degree babe with the great hair and the cute smile, but that doesn't change the fact that he's standing right behind me, right? Marcus, up! Want some big? No, I'm good. Hey, June. So you want to go check out this mummy? Oh, um, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> I want my mummy! <laughs> That could have been worse. Yeah? No, not really. He's called Coleman Get It, and he's supposed to be, wow, like 3,000 years old. Except unlike most Egyptian mummies, this guy wasn't buried with a mountain of riches. Well, maybe he lost it in a pyramid scheme. Yeah? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. You know, a pyramid scheme? Pyramids of Egypt? Mummy? Oh, right. Hey, I saw this thing on TV that the Egyptians didn't build the pyramids, that they were made by aliens. Yeah, but I heard that it was the Donnybuck goblins from Mausolon. Who? Oh, oh, 
Uh, hey, what do you suppose these tablets say? Don't know. What language is that? Wait, this is Balmain. What's Balmain? Old dead language. Hmm, but I think I know where we can get a translation. Absolutely not. I will not be a party to this. Monroe, it's your job to help me. No, it's my job to assist the Tejuanze in maintaining the harmony between humanity and the world of magic, not to help you cheat on your homework. It's not cheating. I'm just utilizing all of my assets. Some people use encyclopedias. I use a small, annoying dog who speaks Balmain and gets gas when he eats Indian food. Ooh, do I offend Her Majesty? Translate this! What do you think I am, the Internet? No, the Internet doesn't tend to complain this much. Everything okay? I heard yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah! Bad dog! Bad dog, Monroe! Stop that! Bad boy! Stop it! And what a proud moment this is. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times my dog has actually eaten my homework. Yeah. For a little guy, he sure seems to have a lot of attitude. You have no idea. Not much chance of getting this translated. Yeah, sorry. I guess we'll have to go back to the museum tomorrow. Eh, no big deal. It's not like the mummy's going anywhere. Return to this plane, oh great one! End your long sleep by the darkness that eclipses the dawn and the light that fuels the day! Rise by the eye of the Bastu, by the hand of Ramat! Rise, oh great come and get it! Oh, great one, is it true? Have you awakened? Yee-haw! You better have. I'm wound tighter than a three-ton pinata at an octopus square dance. Woohoo! The heck is this? Come and get it? That's me, son. You call and I have answered. I'm hotter than a sumo wrestler in Miami Beach. <laughs> Somebody dance with me. I got me the fever. Yeah, wait, sorry. Excuse me. I, you are the great, sublime and exalted come and get it? You can bet your hot-handled honey. But everybody calls me Skeeter. <laughs> oh, come on now. All right. Now I'm going to need me, as the French say, some accoutrements. Get me one of them cellular phones, a secretary who can make a decent pot of coffee, a flat-screen TV, and, oh, yeah, new duds, because these here bandages passed right, woo, about 1,200 years ago. Come on now, fellas, get your boots on. The rodeo's in town. Woo! I like him. Shut up! Man, will you look at this? I don't get it. If there's a ton of valuable art inside, why would anybody want to steal some mummy? Oh, man. We've got a report to do, and our subject is missing in action. Come on, we can still swing it. We've got your big brain on the job. <laughs> Oh, my brain's not... well, it's not that big. Nah, you got the goods. You knew those tablets were in... whatever, Malbaman... Balmain. Right. All we have to do is point you in the right direction and you can make with the mad research. Just tell me how I can help. Uh, great. Uh, sure. Uh, let's go. I bet we can totally find stuff. First, we have to check out the... Oh, man. I just knew that was gonna happen. June, you okay? No, um... Well, yeah, I... Uh, listen, um, I, I forgot. I, I gotta go to my grandmother's. Oh, okay. Yeah, it it's just for, like, an hour or so. I, I promise. Hey, um, why don't you go to the library and I'll meet you there, okay? Okay, that should be cool. Great! Uh, see you in an hour. I'll, um, bring my big brain. Big brain. Such an idiot. <laughs> is just gross. I would like to go just one week without somebody stealing all the bodies out of a graveyard. Hey, you! Yeah, you, Zippy! Hold it right there! <gasps> Dawn of the icky dead, a zombie? Oh, man, I hate zombies! Hey! I said freeze! <laughs> I'm 
late for work, I gotta punch in. What? Welcome, little lady, to Skeeter. Come and get it's waffle and ribbon for him. You gotta be kidding. No, ma'am. Come on in and take a gander at the finest eatery this bird will ever see. We're hotter than a tar roof in Georgia. That's hot. Uh, little help? Sorry, my bad. Yeah, don't worry about it. But you can't use zombies. They're an untapped workforce and cheap. No health or dental plan. Your dead man ain't got no teeth. Look, you're not getting it, Methuselah. I am the Teshwan Z, the law in these parts. And I am telling you, I will not let you do this. I know, and I'm telling you. I ain't asking permission. <laughs> Have you heard about Orchid Bay's new dining sensation? Why, it's Uncle Skeeter's joint! If you got a hankering and you're hungering for some chow, come on down and get yourself the best chow around. Where portions are humongous and diets are for jerks. Belly up to the diet that really works. We got a goat on a hat box, chicken on a cot, there's a tap dancing monkey jumping on a pot. Hippies jumping penguins and ape in a suit, there's nine happy she dogs and one old coot. There's Dogs playing poker and a hippo eating corn. There's a bearded lady playing a French horn. Got ribs every morning and waffles every night. We're getting fired and we don't go right. We're open every day and we don't disappoint. So split your pants at Uncle Skeeter's John. Get your butts in here. This shit big don't pay for itself. Yee-haw! Come on down to Skeeter. Come and get its waffle and rib emporium. Uh-oh. Hey. Wasn't that the mummy June asked you about? You know, the one that you refused to give her any help with? Well, I perhaps... Yes. The one who's on television running a restaurant full of zombies? All right, so this one slipped by me a little. A little? Dude's on the TV. You passed little a few miles back. It's not my job to help her with her homework. I have been guiding the Tej 1Z for over 300 years. I have a very respectable batting average. Well, Babe Ruth, there's a 3,000-year-old mummy raising the dead and cooking waffles. Hello? No, Marcus. This is Ray Ray Lee. What's up, big man? Ray Ray? Oh, June's little brother, right? How'd you get my number? I stole it out of June's diary. Listen, have you seen my sister around? Well, no. She was supposed to meet me at the library an hour ago. Oh, man, she stood you up? That's cold. Man, she didn't stand me up. She said she was going to your grandmother's house. You saying she isn't? I don't know. I don't pay that much attention to most stuff, you know? Well, it's good talking to you. Later, bro. Wait, could you tell me where June is? She flaked out on Marcus. Something's up. Way up. <laughs> Dude, this is just getting more and more irritating by the minute. Oh, fabulous. A dungeon. Why do all these losers have dungeons? We raised come and get it because he was supposed to be the source of wealth and power. Excuse me? We didn't think that meant opening a fast food chain. Then, he locked me up just because I refused a position as a regional manager for the Southwest Territories. I'm a master of the dark magic, for Pete's sake! Yeah, 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 sounds rough. How'd you get General Lee up and around again? We raised him with the Orb of Rafuk. If the orb's not destroyed before sunset, come and get it will become immortal. The restaurant chain will pop up on every corner of the city, then all over the world. And the dead will never rest. They'll work for him for all eternity, without overtime. <sighs> Got it. Ice the orb, save the world from ribs and waffles. I'm out of here. Hey, hey, listen! Take me with you! Look, this dungeon is an elaborate maze rife with obstacles. I know the way out. I can help. Okay, but if you're double-crossing me, I'll kick your butt so bad you'll be wearing it as shoulder pads. You're pretty strong for a little girl. And you're a guy in a dress who woke up a mummy. Riri, this is idiocy. Look, June's got to be here somewhere. Just try and blend in. There's zombies. 
you expect us to blend? What you learn, dude? Brains must get brains. Oh, brains! You okay there? Yeah, I'm supposed to work uh, the deep fryer. Oh, great! Come on. Yes, very good. You're like James Bond. That's great! Six demons to go and we're done with level one. Great. I need six uh, sugars to make skin deal. deal. Come on, the yeah, fly. Yeah, 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 yeah
lost my favorite pair of earrings. Now, where are you, bandage boy? I'm hankering for some hurting. Pardon? Excuse me? I, you know, I gotta see a man about a horse. Heads up, hot soup coming through. Dude! Alley-oop! <coughs> You horse thieves just wait for the grand reopening of Skeeter. Come and get its waffle and barbecue. Who do we see about getting paid? Yeah! <sighs> so, now I've got to get all these zombies back to their graves. Call Marcus and hope that he doesn't hate me and finish my report. Yes, yeah, sounds rough. Your concern is overwhelming. Well, what do you want me to do? Cry? Good. I got to tell you. The mummy may have raised a million zombies and tried to take over the world, but it makes a mean waffle. Try something they totally rock. Oh, Ray Ray, don't eat those. They're evil. Whatever, man. Hey, zombie dude, give me some syrup. This is amazing. Come and get it was one of the chief investors in a proposed aqueduct system in Egypt? Yeah, but it all caved in and they flooded the city. <laughs> what a jerk. June, this is great. We make an awesome team. Thanks. I think so, too. This stuff is so cool. Where'd you get all this info on the mummy? I couldn't find anything like this at the library. I have my sources. This is so not cool. We saved the day. Why do we have to do her homework? We are soldiers in the battle against evil. This is our duty. And the faster you write, the sooner we get out. Which I hope is soon. I need to be what? I hear well, cheating on homework sometimes requires discussion, you harpy! We're on the case! Yeah, we're soldiers for evil! Soldiers against evil! I'm considering my options. But look what I made! <laughs>